Hi guys, welcome to ENS 181 Engineering Mathematics. So in this video, we're going to discuss methods on finding the solution for first order differential equation. So specifically, methods by substitution for Bernoulli's equation. So the application of Bernoulli's equation is on fluid dynamics. So a differential equation of dy over dx plus p of xy equals to q of x times y raised to n, where n is any real number, is called Bernoulli's equation. Note that for n is equals to 0 and n equals to 1, the equation becomes linear. But for n is not equal to 1 or 0, the substitution of u equals to y raised to 1 minus n reduces the Bernoulli's equation to linear equation. So method of solution is by substitution. We substitute this u equals to y raised to 1 over n to our Bernoulli's equation to transform it to its equivalent linear equation. Then, we are going to solve the resulting linear equation using the methods for linear first order ODE. After that, we substitute back the value of our u. So this one is a shortcut formula for transforming your Bernoulli's equation to its equivalent linear differential equation. So we have an example here x dy over dx plus y equals to x squared y squared. So clearly it is a Bernoulli's equation because of this term. So first we have to rearrange this one. We have to separate any coefficient for our derivatives. So we divide all equation by x. We have dy over dx plus 1 over x y equals to x y squared. So from this, we can identify our p of x equals to 1 over x, then our q of x, which is equal to x. And the value of our n is equal to 2. So applying Methods of substitution will let u equals to y raised to 1 minus n. So we have u equals to our n is 2, y raised to negative 1. So we have to differentiate this with respect to x. So we have du over dx equals to negative y raised to negative 2 dy over dx. So rearranging this one, we'll have dy over dx equals to negative y squared du over dx. So we substitute this to our Bernoulli's equation. So our dy over dx is now negative y squared du over dx plus 1 over x y equals to x y squared. So we simplify this. We separate the coefficient of our derivative. We divide all equation by negative y squared. So we have du over dx plus 1 over x times negative 1 over y squared y equals to xy squared times negative 1 over y squared. Simplifying this one, we'll get du over dx plus negative 1 over x y raised to negative 1 
equals to so canceling y squared will have negative x so if you remember the value of our u is y raised to negative 1 so this term will become u so we have du over dx plus negative 1 over x u equals to negative x so now we have a linear differential equation so we transform this Bernoulli's equation our original differential equation to its equivalent linear differential equation so we, now we can apply the methods on finding the solution for linear DE to this differential equation so our new P of X will now become negative 1 over X and our Q of X will now become negative x. So our integrating factor will be i equals to e raised to integral of negative p of x which is 1 over x dx. So we have e raised to negative ln x. So our i is equal to e raised to negative ln x will equal to x raised to negative 1. So we apply this one with our u equals to 1 over i times integral of i times our q of x dx. So we have u equals to 1 over x negative 1 times integral of x raised to negative 1 times the value of our q is negative x dx. So our u is equal to 1 over x raised to negative 1 integral of negative 1 dx. So u equals to 1 over x negative 1 integral of negative 1 dx is negative x plus c. So we substitute back the value of our u which is y raised to negative 1. We have y raised to negative 1 equals to this one is just x times negative x plus c. Solving for y, we have y equals to 1 over x times c minus x. So this is the solution for our Bernoulli's equation. y equals to 1 over x times c minus x. So we have another example here for Bernoulli's equation which is an initial value problem. So it is already on the Bernoulli's equation form. So we can identify our p of x which is 2 over x, our q of x, which is negative x raised to 9, and our n, which is equal to 5. So we let u equals to y raised to 1 minus 5, which is y raised to negative 4. Applying our formula, for transforming the Bernoulli's equation to its equivalent linear DE, we have u prime plus 1 minus n p of x u equals to 1 minus n q 
of x. So substituting the value, we have u prime plus 1 minus n is equal to negative 4. Our p of x is 2 over x. Then u equals to negative 4. Value of our q of x is negative x9. So our new differential equation will be u prime plus negative 8 over x u equals to 4x to the 9. So this one is the new linear BE. So you can apply the method that we used from the previous example if you can arrive with this same linear differential equation. So since it is already linear, we can apply methods for solution for our linear DE. Our new P of X now will become negative 8 over X. Then our Q of X is now 4X raised to 9. So our integrating factor I is equal to e raised to integral of negative 8 over x dx. So this one will become e raised to negative 8 ln of x. So our integrating factor is just equal to x raised to negative 8. So applying that, we have u equals to 1 over i times integral of q i dx. So our u is equal to 1 over x raised to negative 8 integral of value of our q is 4x to the 9 value of our i is x raised to negative 8 dx. So, u is equal to x to the 8 times integral of 4x dx. So, u equals to x to the 8. So, integral of 4x dx is 2x squared plus c. So, substituting back the value of our u which is y raised to negative 4, we have y raised to negative 4 equals 2x raised to 8, 2x squared plus c. So to get the value of our arbitrary constant c, we apply the initial condition y of negative 1 equals to 2. So we have 1 over value nating y is 2 raised to 4 equals to value ng x natin is negative 1 raised to 8 times 2 value ng x is negative 1 squared plus c. So simplifying this one, we have 1 over 16 equals to positive 1, then positive 1, so we have 2 plus C. Solving for C, we have C equals to negative 31 over 16. So our solution now becomes 1 over y to the 4 equals to x to the 8 times 2x squared minus 31 over 16. So this is the solution for our initial value problem Bernoulli's equation. 
So in this part, we have practice quiz for Bernoulli's equation. So I want you to pause this video and try answering the solution for the following Bernoulli's equation by using the substitution method. So the answer for this practice quiz will be posted to another video. So that's it for Bernoulli's equation, methods of substitution. So I hope you learned from this video. Our next topic will be modeling with first order differential equation. See you on the next discussion.